for it's five forty-five p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's nightly news roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, alongside Joe Bushy. This show is five forty-five live tonight. Uh, big win for uh, BUHS boys. Burn, burn, beaten. That's the title. It's a fun title we got. Giants, Patriots. We got something from Shumlin on that. Go figure. And of course, our high-tech traffic report. I'm loving it. I know you are, Joe. It's super accurate. And uh, we're enjoying ourselves with it. And remember, we do this all in 15 minutes, so you get time to stick with us here on 545 Live. We all know Brattleboro is a town filled with concerned, interested, and active citizens. They like to keep their hand in. They like to know what's going on. And yes, they can, can't always be there, on the spot, in person, to see for themselves. That's where these folks come in. They are indeed the eyes and ears of the communities of Rattleboro, Guilford, and Vernon. Their community-produced shows, lots of volunteers get into the act, can be seen in neighborhood, neighboring Jamaica, Townsend, Newfane, Putney, and Dummerston as well. In TV lingo, that's coverage. Uh, Brattleboro Area Chamber of Commerce, Jerry Goldberg, uh, presenting this here TV station, BCTV, with a special award uh, commemorating 35 years of service. Joe, uh, you were there filming this, uh, this here uh, award presentation here on the board of BCTV. Uh, BCTV packed the house, thanks to BCTV. We uh, sure had uh, plenty of people there. Um, it was a full house for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. I want to uh, I want to just quickly mention BCTV, 35 years out there, as Jerry Goldberg mentioned, not just Brattleboro, but a whole lot of surrounding towns as well. And, right, uh, with the addition of Southern Vermont Cable, the five additional towns, uh, Putney, Dummerston, Jamaica, Jamaica, Newfane, and Grafton. They're not Grafton. Townsend? Townsend. Townsend, right. <laughs> we know our service territory. Sure we do. All right, welcome okay. back, folks, to this uh, February 1st, 2012 edition of 545 Live. We're uh, jumping into the uh, sunniest, dreamiest of months here as we roll into February. Hopefully 545 Live can bring a little cheer as well. 52 degrees it was out there when I left. Pretty amazing, considering it's February. we got quite a show coming up uh, Wednesday, which means we just kind of hack it together. We'll try and get you out of here in record time. Uh, we'll start with a couple of stories, including a uh, Bellows Falls employee who uh, made off with close to $1,500 in heating oil from Coda and Coda. He now faces up to 10 years in prison. Um, the, uh, report, uh, the reformer was reporting on this this morning. Uh, still some shaky details, but it looks as though um, we, the, uh, the uh, employee in question actually sent members of his family with his key cards to uh, illegally obtain this home heating oil. Uh, it gets cold out there. And uh, it can, can get a little dicey. Right. We like our privacy. No, uh, I guess no excuse for that. Mm. All right, next, uh, Senator Patrick Leahy. We all know who he is. He's working on the uh, Video Privacy Protection Act. It was actually established in 1988 uh, and includes things like protecting uh, the rights of people to keep privacy on their um, video rental history. So people, uh, based on this act, are not allowed to go look up which movies you've been renting um, so this act that's as old as I am has now uh, come uh, into uh, some jeopardy again, says Patrick Leahy, but he uh, is reinforcing in this new Uber electronic age how important it is. Now that, we like our privacy in, in Vermont. And in the digital age, ensuring the right to privacy is critical. But I think it, it becomes ever more difficult as our government and businesses collect and store and mine, use our most sensitive personal information for their own purposes, not ours, but theirs. Whether it's sensitive medical records, private financial information, personal thoughts and feelings. Senator Patrick Leahy at a judicial, at a, uh, judicial hearing on the uh, Video Protection Privacy Act. All right, next, uh, Joe, BUHS boys. Last night they were live on BCTV, uh, okay. Channel 8. Gave uh, a good look into uh, Burn Burton. Uh, quite enjoyable for anybody who's a fan yeah, around yeah. here. Um, it's a good game. A, uh, a clip for you here in case you missed the live broadcast. Yeah. 
quick little clip there. Uh, but if you want more that than that, good. you can uh, catch good, yeah, good baseline jumper. Um, yeah. You can uh, catch the full broadcast of that coming up this week. It's also available on BC TV's video on demand at BrattleBroTV.org, and uh, on that website you can find a, a complete listing for all the uh, UHS basketball games that are coming up. We got quite a few more boys and girls. They're covered by Gary Blomgren and his students who run BHS TV up at the high school. All right, Joe, Super Bowl weekend. Uh, rematch, ultimate rematch, Giants, uh, Patriots. Should be a good game. I have to say I subscribe to the NFL's online database. I've seen every single game of this here uh, 2011 season, and I couldn't think of two better teams to uh, be facing off to make this a good game. I am psyched. Uh, everybody's weighing in on which direction they think this is going to go, including uh, our own Vermont Governor, Peter Shumlin. The Patriots are going to win, and I was on a panel <coughs> down in New York with Governor Cuomo, who was making a big push for the, the other team, and I tried very hard to stay out of the discussions, and I finally got lured into it, and I just said, last time I checked, I'm a governor from New England, unlike Governor Cuomo. And I believe that the New England Patriots are going to win. That's my prediction. All right. Well, he he uh, thinks the Patriots are uh, going to take the Super Bowl. We'll find out. All right. We got a few more things. Uh, Hopefully, to... you know something we don't know. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> He's found some defense for them. All right, uh, we got to do a couple uh, quick things. Traffic and weather we've got up on our super bright screen here behind me. Looks like uh, this is Ooh. uber bright. Let's uh, try and get the screen scrape up here so we can look at what's going on with downtown weather. Um, but first, Joe, maybe I'll uh, turn you loose here on the what we got weather here? while I try and... Uh, fire that up here. Well, let me see. What do we got there for the weather? It looks like it's going to be down to 27 tonight, partly cloudy. Chance of showers. Tomorrow, they're saying uh, it'll be a high of 40 and then down to, uh, again, around 20 tomorrow night. It looks like for about the next 10 days, we're looking at uh, lows in the 20s, uh, low 20s, and highs in the mid-30s. Uh, cracking 40 a couple days. So hopefully it'll be some nice weather. It certainly isn't what we're looking at for winter, but we'll make the best of it and keep praying for snow. Yeah, well, and uh, today was a good day uh, to get outside if, if you uh, so chose. All right, like we mentioned, high-tech traffic report. That's the way to, we like to make our show look fancy. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get it up on the screen here. Uh, powered by Inrix and Beat the Traffic. Let's, uh, let's get it rocking and rolling here. Uh, Joe, the the code, I, I feel like I often... I'm the often code, famous, Red. But why don't, yeah, why don't you Red, it's clogged up. Green is clear to go, and is it the orange in the middle that's uh, semi-clogged? Exactly, yeah. So we, uh, we're uh, looking Still here. Still on Main Street, we're a little bit clogged up, as I yeah, witnessed coming up through. That um, looks like uh, coming into the round. Almost unavoidable, roundabout. some would say, at this point. Roundabout, uh, the roundabout and, and going there, across into, little bit up uh, there. into New Hampshire is, is also a little rough. Western Ave, as it often is, uh, traffic's moving, though it is heavily congested. And today, uh, you're good to go if you're trafficking on 91. All right, so that's our high-tech traffic report. Uh, as always, powered by Inrix and Beat the Traffic. If you want to do your own traffic report on your mobile phone, in your car, or... Very handy app. Wherever you go, yeah, absolutely. Not that we're plugging it, but... Well, not that you sh Yeah, because we want people to come here and watch uh, BCTV, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, yes, it is available out there to the whole world for free. All right, Joe, that's all right. about all I got on this uh, quick little... Wednesday check-in, but remember we'll be back Friday. We're gonna hype up big time the uh, acapella concert That's coming up at the latches this week. We've got clips from the last one We're gonna do some uh, reports from down at the latches. I'm excited for that We'll pull out all the headlines quick glance clips uh, We'll look at the traffic and weather as we often do all that and more coming up Friday So make sure you stick with us here on 545 live Joe. That's all I got but uh I guess for BC TV and 545 live I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy and we're saying Night, everybody. See you soon.